In this exercise we're going to make a Lego brick. So I've got some dimensions over here which I'm going to use. I'm going to round up some of them for just for simplicity. So we start off with a rectangle and we see the rectangle should be 16 by 32. So we draw that, I will hit the space bar, we'll make that one the 32 return key, this one the 16, type in 16, hit the return, all wrong, 16, not 6, 16, followed by the return key, so that's the basic uh, shape of it, so we go to mode, and pull it selected, home key, <clears throat> and we want to make it, pull it up, and we want to make it 9.6. We'll go for the correct dimension according to this drawing. 9.6 space bar, type in 9.6 return key. <clears throat> Basic uh, Lego brick shape. Select that face. Select a, a drawing plane make it face us and we need to draw some pegs in so I see these pegs are four millimeters from each edge so we'll start with this one two three four and they are five millimeters diameter space bar five <coughs> Two, four, five. That's nice. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, five, four, two, four, there, five, five. <clears throat> two, four, five, five. Select mode, pull get selected, home key H. With mode and pull selected, we select one of the circles, hold the control key down, and select the other seven. Grab the pull arrow, pull up, space bar, we'll make them two millimeters high. <clears throat> so there we've got some pegs. Turn it over. Select the back face. Sketch, make it firm, face us. Now we want to hollow this out, so select the rectangle, we'll make the walls one millimeter thick, we'll drag across, mode, pull it selected, <coughs> oops, it's got us the wrong way, we don't want that, so we want to roll it off. Select the inner rectangle, grab the pull handle and pull down, space bar, it was 9.6 tall so we'll make it 8.6 to give a consistent wall thickness, space bar and we have that. And with that face selected we sketch, make it faces, and we see on the inner side we have, come on, <clears throat> we have like three sockets, so we'll put those in, <clears throat> uh, 
these are internal 4.8, external 6.5. So we we'll select the circle, put the middle one in first, drag, spacebar, 4.8. External space bar 6.5, and then we want another two. Uh, right, so two, four, six, eight. I want rid of that. Get rid. So two, four, six, eight. 4.8 and 5678 4.8 6.5 <coughs> Mode, pull it selected, roll it round a bit, select one of these annuli, I think that's the word, an annulus in other words, one of the annuluses, hold the control key, click another, and the next one, grab the handle, pull up, space bar, 8.6. So there we have the sockets on the back edge. Now then, for manufacturing purposes, this is not acceptable having solid pegs. We want to hollow those out. So we need to select this face make it face us nicely then we want little inner <coughs> inner circles so there were five millimeters so for a wall thickness of one millimeter we want three millimeter circles two four three Type in three space bar, three, three, Finally, three. <clears throat> Mode, pull is selected. Move it a bit so we can see all the eight circles. Pull is selected, select one, hold the control key, select the rest. Now the pegs are two millimeters high, so we'll make these. Grab the bolt key, space bar, we'll make them one millimeter deep. And there's our Lego brick. Oh, I've missed one. There you go. It's a little correction here. Space bar one. Ah. All of them. So we've now designed a Lego brick. <clears throat> Just because it's cute, we'll look at this. Select isometric. Top. Click outside the box, so that light goes away. Top, bottom. bottom. left, right, 
different pack and home. Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe and you will receive some more lovely Design Spark mechanical tuition. Bye.